Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Today's Bible reading is for October 8th. Hope you all are ready to get into the Word. Before we do, let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, for another day, another opportunity to live according to your Word. May you fill us with your Holy Spirit, Lord God. May we make the right choices and the right decisions. May we love you with all that we have and love our neighbors the same. May we give you all the glory, honor, and praise and worship that you deserve. And just give you thanks for everything that you have done for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The book of Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 1 through chapter 11 verse 23. Hear the word which the Lord speaks to you, O house of Israel. Thus says the Lord. Do not learn the way of the Gentiles. Do not be dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the Gentiles are dismayed at them. For the customs of the peoples are futile. For one cuts a tree from the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They decorate it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and hammers, so that it will not topple. They are upright like a palm tree, and they cannot speak. They must be carried, because they cannot go by themselves. Do not be afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, nor can they do any good. Inasmuch as there is none like you, O Lord, you are great and your name is great in might. Who would not fear you, O King of the nations? For this is your rightful due. For among all the wise men of the nations and in all their kingdoms, there is none like you. But they are altogether dull-hearted and foolish. A wooden idol is a worthless doctrine. Silver is beaten into plates. It is brought from Tarshish and gold from Uphaz. The work of the craftsmen and of the hands of the metalsmith Blue and purple are their clothing. They are all the work of skillful men. But the Lord is the true God. He is the living God and the everlasting King. At his wrath, the earth will tremble, and the nations will not be able to endure his indignation. Thus you shall say to them, The gods that have not made the heavens and the earth shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. He has made the earth by his power. He has established the world by his wisdom and has stretched out the heavens at his discretion. When he utters his voice, there is a multitude of waters in the heavens and he causes the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He makes lightning for the rain. He brings the wind out of his treasuries. Everyone is dull hearted without knowledge. Every metalsmith is put to shame by an image, for his molded image is falsehood, and there is no breath in them. They are futile, a work of errors. In the time of their punishment they shall perish. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the maker of all things, and Israel is the tribe of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Gather up your wares from the land, O inhabitant of the forest, fortress. For thus says the Lord, Behold, I will throw out at this time the inhabitants of the land. I will distress them, that they may find it so. Woe is me for my hurt. My wound is severe. But I say, Truly, this is an infirmity and I must bear it. My tent is plundered, and all my cords are broken. My children have gone from me, and they are no more. There is no one to pitch my tent any more, or set up my curtains. For the shepherds have become dull-hearted, and have not sought the Lord. Therefore they shall not prosper, and all their flocks shall be scattered. Behold, the noise of the report has come, and a great commotion out of the north country, to make the cities of Judah desolate, 
a den of jackals. O Lord, I know the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man who walks to direct his own steps. O Lord, correct me, but with justice. Not in your anger, lest you bring me to nothing. Pour out your fury on the Gentiles who do not know you, and on the families who do not call on your name. For they have eaten up Jacob, devoured him and consumed him, and made his dwelling place desolate. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Hear the words of this covenant, and speak to the men of Judah, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and say to them, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Cursed is the man who does not obey the words of this covenant, which I commanded your fathers in the day I brought them out of the land of Egypt from the iron furnace, saying, Obey my voice, and do according to all that I commanded you. So shall you be my people, and I will be your God, that I may establish the oath which I have sworn to your fathers, to give them a land flowing with milk and honey, as it is this day. And I answered and said, So be it, Lord. Then the Lord said to me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear the words of this covenant and do them. For I earnestly exhorted your fathers in the day I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, until this day, rising early and exhorting, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they did not obey or incline their ear, but everyone followed the dictates of his evil heart. Therefore I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but which they have not done. And the Lord said to me, A conspiracy has been found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They have turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers who refused to hear my words, and they have gone after other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which I made with their fathers. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I will surely bring calamity on them which they will not be able to escape. And though they cry out to me, I will not listen to them. Then the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem will go and cry out to the gods to whom they offer incense, but they will not save them at all in the time of their trouble. For according to the number of your cities were your, go your gods, O Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem, you have set up altars to that shameful thing, altars to burn incense to Baal. So do not pray for this people, or lift up a cry or prayer for them. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry out to me because of their trouble. What has my beloved to do in my house, having done lewd deeds with many? And the holy flesh has passed from you. When you do evil, then you rejoice. The Lord called your name, green olive tree, lovely and of good fruit. With the noise of a great tumult, he has kindled fire on it, and its branches are broken. For the Lord of hosts, who planted you, has pronounced doom against you for the evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah, which they have done against themselves to provoke me to anger, and offering incense to Baal. Now the Lord gave me knowledge of it, and I know it, for you showed me their doings. But I was like a docile lamb brought to the slaughter, and I did not know that they had devised schemes against me, saying, Let us destroy the tree with its fruit, and let us cut him off from the land of the living, 
that his name may be remembered no more. But, O Lord of hosts, you who judge righteously, testing the mind and the heart, let me see your vengeance on them, for to you I have revealed my cause. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning the men of Anathoth who seek your life, saying, Do not prophesy in the name of the Lord, lest you die by your hand, by our hand. Therefore thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will punish them. The young men shall die by the sword. Their sons and their daughters shall die by famine, and there shall be no remnant of them. For I will bring cat catastrophe on the men of Anathoth, even the year of their punishment. Our Jeremiah was from the first covenant testament now we're going into the second testament the book of colossians chapter 3 verse 18 through chapter 4 verse 18 wives submit to your own husbands as is fitting in the lord husbands love your wives and do not be bitter toward them children Obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing to the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children, lest they become discouraged. Bondservants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service, as men-pleasers, but in sincerity of heart. Fearing God, and whatever you do, do it heartily, as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Christ. But he who does wrong will be repaid for what he has done, and there is no partiality. Masters, Give your bondservants what is just and fair, knowing that you also have a master in heaven. Continue earnestly in prayer, being vigilant in it with thanksgiving. Meanwhile, praying also for us, that God would, would open to us a door for the word, to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in chains that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom toward those who are outside, redeeming the time. Let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer each one. Tychicus a beloved brother, faithful minister, and fellow servant in the Lord, will tell you all the news about me. I am sending him to you for this very purpose, that he may know your circumstances and comfort your hearts. With Onesimus, a faithful and beloved brother, who is one of you, they will make known to you all things which are happening here. Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, greets you with Mark, the cousin of Barnabas, about whom you received instructions. If he comes to you, welcome him. And Jesus, who is called Justice, there are my, these are my only fellow workers for the kingdom of God who are of the circumcision. They have proved to be a comfort to me. Epaphras, who is one of you, a bondservant of Christ, greets you, always laboring fervently for you in prayers, 
that you may stand perfect and complete and all the will of God. For I bear him witness that he has a great zeal for you. And those who are in Laodicea and those in Hierapolis, Luke, the beloved physician, and Demas greet you. Greet the brethren who are in Laodicea and Nymphas and the church that is in his house. Now when this epistle is read among you, see that it is read also in the church of Laodiceans, and that you likewise read the epistle from Laodicea, and say to Archippus, Take heed to the ministry which you have received in the Lord, that you may fulfill it. This salutation by my own hand, Paul, remember my chains. Grace be with you. Amen. The Book of Psalm, chapter 78, verses 56 through 72. Yet they, Israel, tested and provoked the Most High God, and did not keep his testimonies, but turned back and acted unfaithfully like their fathers. They were turned aside like a deceitful bow, for they provoked him to anger with their high places, and moved him to jealousy with their carved images. When God heard this, he was furious, and greatly abhorred Israel so that he forsook the tabernacle of Shiloh, the tent he had placed among men, and delivered his strength into captivity, and his glory into the enemy's hand. He also gave his people over to the sword, and was furious with his inheritance. The fire consumed their young men, and their maidens were not given in marriage. Their priests fell by the sword and their widows made no lamentation then the lord awoke as from sleep like a mighty man who shouts because of wine and he beat back his enemies he put them to a perpetual reproach moreover he rejected the tent of joseph and did not choose the tribe of ephraim but chose the tribe of judah Mount Zion, which he loved, and he built his sanctuary like the heights, like the earth which he has established forever. He also chose David his servant, and took him from the sheepfolds. From following the ewes that had young, he brought him, to shepherd Jacob his people, and Israel his inheritance. So he shepherded them according to the integrity of his heart, and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands. The Book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verses 28 to 29. Do not be a witness against your neighbor without cause, for would you deceive with your lips? Do not say, I will do to him just as he has done to me. I will render to the man according to his work. All right, guys, hope you all have a great day. May God bless you all, and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.